The difference between me and you two is that you guys roll in here hungover, you know, beers in the weekend, me fresh, ready to go, calculated, mind clear. You guys are just, look at you both. It's embarrassing to be around. As a unit, we look embarrassing right now. Yeah, but we're so much cooler. No, you're not. <laughs> we're you're regretting every decision you made. You got straight grade. Yeah, to my contention to that, I'm, I'm not actually that hungover. I'm just tired from waking up to watch the NFL. You woke up before I am. I did have a couple of beers on the weekend though. Um, my um, cold open this week is bunning sausages. What's in those things that make them taste better? Mm, good call. You reckon? Yeah, rate it. Rate yeah, it. what's in those things? Like there's just something about getting a bunning sausage that's way better than any other sausages we can get. Also the bread, like massively rate just a cheap white loaf. Yep. I think it's about helping the community. You don't think that at all. You're saying that. Make it known I want to help the community. My thing is about it, I reckon, is that you go for the experience. Because sometimes I, wouldn't, I don't even need anything from Bunnings, but I'll just roll into Bunnings to get a sausage sizzle mm. around the corner. How much was it? 250 Really? That's all right. Is that expensive See, or not? With inflation, they just keep it so mm. low. What it used to be. They always beat uh, up by dollar. 10%. Dollar. Used to be a dollar. I love it. Oh, so they haven't kept it in check? No, I don't think so. Mm. No. I'm still right. I'll pay 250 for a good sausage. All right, let's get into things here. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to the Dan Does Footy Podcast. You can find more of Dan Does Footy on the website, Spotify, YouTube, and social media. Lift off. See ya. There was heaps of sick kids, and I was like, where are they? Kick them harder. Kick them all harder. Punch them in the face. Bloody horizontally charged if you get what I mean. Oh no. Oh, tough crowd today. <laughs> Should we say this is the line? If you don't hear the next bit, it's over the line. Okay, so if you don't hear the next bit, I've got a line. Who's just walked past Pun Road? Who dips in? Hey, welcome you know? back wherever you are and however you're listening. We're just dips glad in. that you are. Fresh voice again, he's back. <laughs> the big dog is back on the pod. Welcome back, our friend Joey. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. People loved you last time. Um, some did. Some. What was your feedback that you got about s- being on the pod? Some had uh, some questionable takes or thought I had some questionable takes about how certain men looked. You spoke about Bailey Smith's boxing for undies video for a lot. Okay, that was 100% just you. And about then you said a few things time. about other people as well. Yeah, okay. It was. I was getting around Isaac Heaney and some other people a bit too much. But mm. I'm going to keep that in check, guys. I'm going to have a good day. Who is the hottest player in the league right now, do you think? No comment. You can say it. Who have I said before? You said Heaney's hot. Heaney's, Billy he's, Smith. Heaney's a sort. No, nah, there's someone. I, I like a Massimo sort. at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon he, he appeals to like a more niche market, but yeah, yeah he's, he's for me at the moment. Okay, okay, so that's Joey's back. He's going to run through some footy stuff with us. Ollie is also there. Ollie, very Tasmanian today. Yeah, I'm jacked up. Did you go to a game or is this nah. like a sponsored thing that I don't know about? Nah. What's the deal here? You're in basketball Tassie shorts yep. and the Tassie hoodie. <laughs> and embarrassingly so, I've actually got a Jack Jumpers t-shirt on underneath. <laughs> so you've gone full deep full dive ju- in Tassie? I've, I've, no, I just uh, I walked past mm. Intersport, you know, one of the Tasmanian, you know, rebel sort of vibe. Yep. What's it called? Intersport? Intersport. I've never heard of that place. Never heard of that. Cool. I want to go. Well, you've clearly not listened to my radio show, uh, The Water Boys, because <laughs> Inters- we, do, we do a little bit them. of intersporting. Okay. And um, <clears throat> yeah, just had Jackie's gear everywhere and mm. you just can't really find it here. So I went, I'm just going to yep, really make the most of this and yep. stock up. Rate that. Rate that. How was the motherland? Mate, it was so good. Yeah, it was went good to get back. Went to my dad. Uh, it was his birthday and he was playing a gig. So it was, man. it was pretty nice. One Love of those, that. like, just go get a beer and then secretly walk through the crowd. And We saw the video of his shock face. Yeah, it was very, very nice. Cute. That's so, very nice. Solo artist or band, full piece? <laughs> Definitely not a solo artist. Yep. Um, it was, how many people? Five people in the band? Yep. Uh, like, just a, a pretty good little cover yeah. band. Are we talking, yeah, covers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, go they, follow they go them. off to Urella Avenue. Yeah, okay. Urella Avenue. Go and get onto it. Right, yeah. Then. Yeah, we'll go together next year. Yeah, 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 yeah are they that. touring or just Tazzy? Well, yeah, no. Touring Tassie, I suppose. Okay, so we'll have to go Touring see them. Touring Hobart. We'll have to go see them. Yeah. Okay. Dan does your other avenue. Mate, we can do that. We did Dan does Geelong last week, didn't we? Well, if we're doing that, we'll do anything. That <laughs> vlog will come out. We'll see when Ash turns it around, but maybe in the next week or so. Okay. I'm thinking, I've been spoken to him, but we went to Geelong last week and it was an experience. Mm-hmm. It to say good. the least. Yeah. 
I mean, people watch the vlog and see what we really think about it. A lot happened. Yeah, okay. A lot happened. We had the, and this is just crazy, and people asked about this flat out, and that's, which then led to the other thing that came out of it. Yeah. Was the one kilogram chicken parmigiana. I argue it's a parmy. Well, we'll get to that. Mm. But that thing was probably the biggest thing we've ever seen in our life. That was huge. And you were so confident going into it. Yeah, well, you also made me have a barn me literally to, right before. That was so Long's I thought, Bakehouse. I, I don't really <laughs> so you understand the theory. Mm. Uh, and I had breakfast and I never ate breakfast. So no. I feel like I could do it. I just need... Yeah, so he just threw you under the bus. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like one, it was three stuck together by the cheese on top. (laughs) So it was three chicken parmigianas together. Hugo's and Nobby's. Yeah, yeah. Huge with some cheese melting it all together. So that, if you go find, I think it's the deck. Now it wasn't even on the menu, but the deck looked after us and said, listen, let me call someone. I can make this work for you. So they did that and then we tried it. You see in the vlog, we get absolutely nowhere near it at all. And then just out of nowhere, when we're sweating and, you know, really at our lowest, (laughs) she comes out and brings us. More like chicken. Just a chicken wing. Like yeah. a giant <laughs> yeah. leg. The kitchen heard you love chicken so much. Here's some more chicken. I was like, oh, that couldn't be worsely timed. So that, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think if we any of us had this on our bingo card, but the big takeaway for mine is Geelong loves chicken. Yeah. Like the joint, just love it. Love chicken and love wearing Geelong merchandise. Yeah. We saw a lot of teenagers down there. It's like the club. I don't know if the club does this, but they must give them merch like trackies and hoodies to wear in yeah. Geelong because everyone we saw, teenager and maybe a little bit older, a little bit younger, just wear in Geelong yeah. merchandise. So it's a patriotic town. Love I their can, footy I can get team. That. How Love their squad. Wear Tassie? Yeah. yeah, true. Yeah, true. Tassie kit, but Geelong it's kit. like it, it was a little bit like if you walk around Swan Street a certain time of the afternoon, there are lots of teenagers in Richmond gear because I think that they're mm-hmm. like Richmond do some awesome stuff in the community and getting, you know, there, there mm. are plenty of groups. It's like that, but just everyone in the town. Yeah. Everyone's employed by the cats. Just loved it. It's so like it me good. when I go to um, Cryo Markets in full Gold Coast Suns merch. You know, you're the only one that wears Gold Coast merch <laughs> up there as well. <laughs> I think I am the only one. I haven't seen one. One person in the Gold Coast wearing Gold Coast merch. Not once. But that happens. We were there. What else happened? Oh, we went to and we tried to get to the bottom. The point of the vlog was to get to the bottom of why the players are going there. Now, we walked away or we actually drove out of there. We ran away. Realizing that Geelong itself <laughs> is the core of the shithole. Sure. But that town, it, no, you wouldn't move to yeah. Geelong if you're a Geelong player. No. But everything outside of Geelong, past Geelong West, yeah. would be where you go. What are the hot spots around there? In Geelong, yeah, fucking like, the no, road sorry, out of there. Outside of Geelong, the popular good ones. Uh, farming, yeah. Queenscliff is good. Yeah, okay. Uh, Torquay is good. Yeah. What else? Is Lawn Janjak. there? Janjak. Janjak. Shopping there. Mall. Bit further down, but yeah, it is okay. that direction down the Great Ocean Road. Yeah. It's a lot. So we, we, we'll we see the vlog. Hopefully come out this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is coming through thick and strong for you before we get into some football stuff. Ask Ollie. Now, mm. I don't know if it's a new thing we're going to do, but- the way you go about your life has got people's ears pricked up. Okay. So we have the toilet situation. We had the shower stuff. Yeah. Your toilet stuff wasn't that weird, surprisingly. No. No. But this is the one that came across my desk. When you get out of the shower, what's the first item you're putting on? Are you like me? Is it undies, pants, and shirt in that order? Or are you something weird like socks, shirt, hat, watch? Belt. S- belt, <laughs> undies. Like what is the first thing that's going on? Out of the shower. He it's loops, not deodorant. We know that much. Through the shorts and then puts them on. Let me think. Okay, I'm going to be totally honest. I reckon I'm probably pretty normal. I reckon it's Great. just undies first. But I do find it one of the funnier things to do is to just put on like your T-shirt first yeah. and, then, and then go and do, just do a small errand. Like a girlfriend that's staying there. Just like, <laughs> running around yeah. naked. Or just your socks. Or yeah. like, and then you go and make a coffee while that's happening. I do find that quite funny. If anyone's putting on anything other than undies first, you're a murderer. Yeah, it's not. Like you can't be getting out of a shower and putting shirt on first. We need to oh, get here we go. These, uh, what do you do? I'm I, I'm definitely not shirt first. I do the undies, but I, I yeah. walk around for ages naked after I shower because I like to cool down. Yeah. If I get dressed too quickly, I start freaking out and getting hot. Sure. Mm. Was, the other day when you were on the phone to me when I was coming down, I was fresh out of the shower, getting changed, and I was running late for the airport, so I had to get changed, and I'm in the car sweating. Yeah, yeah. and you know, Gold Coast is hot. It is hot. I do have this for you though. If mm. you if you're after a little bit of oligia weirdness, yeah, um, give it to us. I, you you really like this. So when I get ready to leave the house and I have to put shoes on, normal sort of way of doing things, sock, sock, shoe, shoe, right? I go here, sock. No, you do not. Then a shoe. Oh. So at, there is a moment in time going- in which I've got a, a fully prepared sock and shoe on my right foot <laughs> and then a completely naked foot on the so, left. And you're walking around with the limp because you got like one, <laughs> one, one. And then I go, now I'll put the other sock on. <laughs> 
and then I'll put the shoe on. That is weird. That is if someone bizarre. knocks on the door, you have to answer it with one fully dressed shoe and yeah. foot and one not yeah. dressed at all. Correct. Have you, yeah. have you been to a like mental health uh, mm. clinic and been tested for uh, To see you're okay? No, mm. I mean, I've, I've not when you're so good at it though. Yeah, okay. like, mm. There's no reason. A little bit like um, Alan in the hangover. Like it's a foolproof system. Yeah. Like, well, it all works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it does work. Um, back to the Palmer thing. I put the poll up on our socials and we're still no close to finding out what it is. Mm. 50 50 down the middle after 45,000 votes. Is it chicken parmi or chicken parma? I've I'm, got no idea. I'm vehemently against parma because it's chicken parmigiana. Is like, it? That's chi- how it's spelt. Well, is it chicken parmi or chicken parma? Parmi for me. I think it's a parma. Mm hmm. And everyone was going, you're from Adelaide, it's a Palmer, you should know this. Well, no, I just go with what I'm being told lately and it's Palmer. If chicken it Parmesan. No one says chicken Parmigiani. Parmigiani. <laughs> Parmigiana. Yeah, look, I, that's a bit of a stretch, me saying Parmigiana. It's definitely Parmigiana, but when you spell it, yeah, you know, when you break it down, it's P-A-R-M-I. Yeah, you know? correct. There's so, that and then if you also take away everything that Australians do with servo or... So like everyone's nickname is their last name with yeah. a Y, for yeah. yep. example. So it makes more sense to continue that with a yeah. palmy. Mm. So what are you? Palmy. So it's two against one. It's settled. Two against one. But people are, saying, people are saying let's split the difference and go palmo. Well, that actually <laughs> sounds ridiculous but makes sense. Because it's, like it's like a servo. No, I like, I, like, no, I like palmo. No, you can't do palmo. <laughs> I bet you, I'm pretty sure, I think Perth do... Palmo. They do, yeah. yeah. A lot of Perth people on our socials said it's Palmo. It's not pa- Perth. No, You're that Palmo. Palmo. Just Perth. keep going. They just see a little, yeah. you know, is it Palmy? Is it Palmo? No, and it's we're Palmo. We're all having fun. They go, hey, what about Palmo? No. <laughs> I said we should just split difference as well and go call it a Palmia. Uh-huh. Keep everyone happy. A Palmio. Australia, Australia has Palmias. Yeah, Palmias. Oh, I, like I must it. say, could you imagine though how weird it would be if your mates just called it a Parmigiana? Like, I know we might say it, but how weird would that be going? Yeah. Yeah, should we go to the pub tonight? And we'll have a few uh, Parmigianas and you know, sorry. So what's what we have again? Yeah, no one's bringing bring back. No more slang. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, a few beers, a few so, Parmigianas. Like we have to settle. It has been going on for too long. Like how do we settle this? Because we have, can't. We put a vote out to fifty thousand people. Hasn't been settled yet. It's split down the middle. We can't keep going on like this as a, no. as a country. We can't keep doing this. All right, let's go to Geelong. We're fighting. It's like a war, an internal war. With each other. It's a civil war. We have to come together and find common ground. What is it? Yes. We go to Geelong. No, I'm out. The us three. <laughs> I'm whoever, out. Whoever wins the Kilo Palmy Challenge or Palmo Challenge or Palmer Challenge gets to choose what it is. No one will finish that. Hey, I'll smoke a Hornet. I've no. No. Nah. I reckon we could just do Palm. A palm, just a Palm, just a chicken just Palm. Just say Palm. Because I feel like that, that that's inclusive. You know, that's we are about that here as well. Yeah, like, palm, palm actually is nice. I like that. I'm going palm here until something better comes along that <laughs> okay. we can solve this. Or uh, I'm just saying traditional, let's have some chicken parmigianas, boys. Yeah. I yeah, reckon, so, I reckon so tradition. Full, full name or no name? Full yeah, name yeah. or palm here is where, where I'm standing. <laughs> no, I'm being complete with nah. Okay, then well, I'm sticking to chicken <laughs> parmigiana. If palm here catches on, I'll flip. Boys, who wants to who wants to get the beers barking at us and, and three chicken parmigianas? <laughs> That's where I'm at. Oh, yeah, full name. To keep everyone happy. Because at the moment, I'm in the pub saying, who wants a Palmer? And I've got someone, a lot of people in my social saying, actually, you tall fuckhead, it's Palmy. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to have a chicken parmigiana, you know? Yeah. So how about you guys back the fuck up? Because I'm not really sure. Forgive me for being a little fucking confused about what this thing's fucking called. Because I say one word and I've got people on socials jumping down my throat. I'm confused. Help me. Palmy, Parmigiana is where it's at. Okay, I'll tell you what else I'm scared about. We're going Travis Scott tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that is completely off brand for me, if you know me. I, but I just feel like it's not, though. And what? not behind glass. Oh, well, that's behind. That's in yeah. the mosh pit. Yeah, you reckon this full mosh pit? I reckon that's a lie. I am going to throw it back to my <laughs> Fallout Boy days. My Hawthorne Height days. You know those bands? Blue for my Valentine. Oh, You're going to yeah. wear the, the Jimmy Butler. I'm going full across, <laughs> black eyeshadow and makeup, going back to my emo days, and I'm just in the mosh swinging fists. Because it's play on. You're gonna that's see, what they do. Sing Fiend for three hours straight. And Apparently he plays it six times. Mm. He, what does he play six times? plays this one Fiend. song. Oh, you have no Ollie. Is this a different world for Ollie? Uh, do you not know it? Hmm? You, do you have TikTok Sorry? or anything? You don't know Travis Scott? Mm, I know Travis Scott a bit. Yeah. He was with um, Kim Kardashian, wasn't he? Yeah, close, Kylie. Yeah, there you go. very close. So that's where, <laughs> that's where that's at. So I'm going to that. You think it's on brand for me? 
You know, but well, hold yeah, on. It's sort of pop rap. He it's, doesn't know Fiend. He doesn't know Fiend. Yeah. Fiend. Fiend. No. Fiend. 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 No, Fiend. Fiend. That for like, like you 18 You get treated minutes. to three hours if you go to his concert. Yeah, right. It's no. If you've, his, I, sorry, his <laughs> concerts look scary. Have you seen his concerts online? No, I don't. So I just normally listen My. to music, so I don't know. Man, he's doing some things. They're scary, eh? Yeah, they're pretty psycho. They're like, it's, like you're, it's like you're in hell, Tazzy. <laughs> Like it's so honestly. So now with Dan Geelong, you're just moving straight on. What's to the that concert in Tassie they go to? Not concert, the festival where it's a bit scary. Oh, dark, dark. dark I'm, it's I'm in on that. A next bit year. like that. Okay. There's some shit going on. Um. Okay. Well, firstly, what I'm most excited for is the photos that will come out of it because I reckon you'll look exactly like Mason Cox when he went to Taylor Swift, <laughs> and the person <laughs> behind him. Was like great. I've saved up for three months. Oh yeah. I've bought my tickets, and this is my view, and it's just Mason Cox's head. I'm 100 percent ruining someone's experience yeah. tomorrow. You you probably have that many people on your shoulders too. You go you go pretty wild at those concerts. Yeah, I love being in mosh pits, man. We went I to love Ziggy being Alberts a few years ago, and this guy was absolutely off his rocker. Okay, up. well, yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no need, mate. We're sitting there enjoying some rose acoustic, flipping out, dancing. Yeah, I loved up. it. I had an edible experience. Really? <laughs> yeah. Where was I that? can't wait. I can't wait for um for Travis Scott tomorrow. Mm. That's yeah, better be my, nice. my arena to perform. Back at the old office as well. Yeah, true. At Marvel. So I'll know that place. And Travis might see me in the crowd and say, oh, this guy used to work here. You work Let's here. get him up for Fiend. Yeah. At least five of the renditions of it. <laughs> so I'm in for that. That'd be great. I'm going to report back with a real, like a full comprehensive experience of how it was. Good man. Because I've never been to a festival. My first festival is going to be PTV. Yeah, tr- me too. So this is, this is going yeah. to a concert. My last concert was Ziggy. Okay, that's huge. Which was acoustic vibes, which I took differently wrong. Yeah, you took it way too <laughs> took far. Took it way too far. <laughs> but this is going to be great for me. So I'll come back with a full report. Be, you know, stay on the socials. I'll put some photos up. Yep. It'll be funny. It'll be funny. But let's get into some football because stuff's still happening around the league. Now, we missed the back end of trade period. We thought we'd hang around for a bit and we hung on for dear life as long as we could. And then we got bored of it. Mm-hmm. And there was like a five hour gap between, you know, the last trade that happened at two to then 7.30 <laughs> where just carnage yeah. unfolded. And a mega trade took place. Absolutely huge mega trade. Unlocked some homes for some new players. The first one was Bailey Kit. Oh, Bailey, <laughs> Bailey Smith. <laughs> Bailey Cat. You know Bailey that. Smith. You know what? If you're going to do that, I'm going to have some more food. Go. Okay, Bailey Smith is now a Geelong cat. Geelong just said again, screw the rebuild. We're going back. As he has some food. <laughs> if you're going to say Bailey Kit, you're clearly, your food. head's not in it. So they're going... <laughs> All in again. He was pretty confident it was going to get done, wasn't he? Bought a house before the trade went through. Mm-hmm. That, that's when you know you're confident. Once when I you, go here, Ollie, you're, you're good. When you buy a house before a trade gets done, that's when you know, like, mm. oh, yeah, this just has to get done. And I must say, yes, okay, so I did know that. So cat's mm. out of the bag, so to speak. I knew he was going the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone did. But um, when we were having a pre-production meeting, which we've done three times ever, mm-hmm. so it's quite weird – Thinking, oh, that's not done. We've got like four hours, and I thought, oh so give no, nervous. like yeah, I was getting a little bit nervous yep. for him because it's not a little house. It's a big investment. It's a big boy. Bought an absolute monster down Geelong weeks before. <laughs> I think would have been a good investment regardless, though. Well, that's true. You know, yeah. But was very confident. Bought the house. Said, you know what, this will get done. Like you said, last minute trade gets done. Well, I love the fact that the, <clears throat> the way it went down, I don't think I expected there to be a mega trade around it. Like I just thought it was going to be a really simple straight. Clear cut. That's yeah. that. One yeah. for one. And then everything around it went, wow, mm. no wonder this has taken so long. Yeah. So he's there. I, I like him in the colours. You know when you first see the photos of yeah. people? So we spoke about Bolton in the Frio colours yep. and that looks good. Him in the, the stripes, in the hoops, the looks hoops. cool. He's got the blue eyes to match the blue rings. He's the most good. Geelong looking player ever. Yeah. Well, I reckon you are. Mate. It's like oh, him, yeah, him, me, and, yeah. him and Lingy put together. It's like, yeah, they both look good. Well, <laughs> did, sure. I, did I get that wrong? Just two attractive men. No. I um, think the biggest no. thing to come out of the Bailey Smith trade, though, is the testament to Ollie's friendship. He did not let up, didn't Yeah, didn't you didn't say either. shit about it. And you yeah. knew a long way out. You knew halfway through the year where he was going. But and I, I pressed you too. I also knew the backup teams, though. Tell us. Oh, yeah. Can we hear that? So one of them originally was Hawthorne, which I think people oh. knew of. Yep. And then they dropped out. Yep. And then the next one, the red, white and black. Wow, really? so Saints were third. Was on the list. So you would have been cheering for that. I was You're big like, time pushing for it. Yeah. Gold, Geelong, silver was Hawthorne, bronze medal, Saints. Saints. And I was even trying to start some rumours. So when we went and kicked the footy that day, I um, wore my Saints kit. Just trying to get over the line. Oh, but like maybe if like <laughs> yeah. someone 
took a photo. <laughs> yeah. it was like, you should try this Guernsey on. You might like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bailey's got ketchup on it. Bailey Smith, you know. You can see the headline. Bailey Smith caught training with, you know, mm. unfit off-season. St. Kilda That would have been great. <laughs> yeah. That would have been great. Yeah, well, your lips were tight the whole way through, so yeah. you're very well, man. And that would be hard for you to hold that information it in was, too. It was, it was difficult, but I respect the man and I respect the, the process. And, you know, this is just a really good example of why I believe I'd be a great player manager one day when I finally move into that world. You have my trust and my belief. Thank you. True. Yeah. You would never be a player. What do you mean? Well, no, I'm thinking about going into coaching. Remember the Chris Fagan thing? He, he never played AFL and then he went to coaching. Why would you go in coaching? Man, I'm, actually, and I could definitely play. You saw me burst out the pack before. You did before, yeah. You, <laughs> no, you came out of the stoppage pretty quickly that. there. Okay, so both. So you're now going to be playing manager. You want to coach someday. It's news to me. Um, if he went to Hawthorne, <laughs> could you imagine? Uh, I mean, he would have been perfect. Yeah. That would have been an unbelievable trade period. Hawks have an unreal midfield already, though. He, he, he'd though. be like the cherry on top, like that inside mid mm. bursting out the pack. Yeah, and he'd look good in those colours too. Yeah. And that's hard to do in the poos and wheeze, but he would look good. Yeah. What, what colours wouldn't he look good in though? Gold Coast Suns. Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Poor Suns. Poor Suns. Even Rioli in that colour, I don't like him in that. Uh, John Noble looks, uh, John Noble's skin we've spoken about, Ooh. horrible look for him aesthetically. Unless he gets a tan. He's going to get Milano tan. He's going to start. Well, bad really thing for him, Solis are shut down up there. I used to jump into Solly religiously when I was up there as a player when they were legal. Yeah. It was like train, then recover at the beach and then hit the Solly for half an hour. It was like how to be a player. I've got the hookup for some, <laughs> some naughty ones up there. Some undercover ones. Message, always, me, like, message me noble. You just gave me massive flashbacks when talking about um, Milano 10. Mm. I had never heard about it because that sort of thing doesn't, you know, come across my desk very often no. and when you said it I went oh Dan how embarrassing it's melatonin no oh, that's yeah right. that's right yeah you yeah, thought that. Milano Town Milano Town was a real thing I think Annie used to take it it's still a thing is it yeah it's still getting around I've tried it nah it's I'm not, not for working. it do you reckon Bailey's a Milano Town or is he just hitting the sun I think he just got like the most perfect thing ever like all his genetics are... Jai Colwell's yeah. definitely in a solly somewhere. Yeah, He's like, unlocked a solly somewhere. I mean, if the kids For are sure. picking up on it, then... For yeah. sure. Well, Bailey to Geelong, when do you reckon his first video boxing with the undies is going to be? Because <laughs> we're due. We are due for one. That do you reckon? True. Did he pull that down? I've, I didn't oh, I didn't absolutely. go and check if it was there, but I think, I think it might be gone. <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's not gone, is it? No, no, that, show it can't be gone. It's gone. No, 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 it's not gone. If Mate, he's taking that down, I'll be flat out. It's gone, but I hope someone's screen recorded it. Because it went for 30 minutes too. <laughs> he, did, he's, he did put it on his TikTok though as well. So if it's not on oh, Instagram, oh man, it's down. TikTok. I told you it's down. Oh, he's taking it down. It, so the Geelong culture is already taken over because he's <laughs> they, obviously they wouldn't stand for that. That would get yeah. stamped out straight away. You reckon? Yeah. yeah, I think so. I mean, him. You said this at the pub. Go, him going from a dog to a cat hasn't been spoken about enough. Nowhere near enough. Mm. The Battle of the Household Pets. I've always called that game, mm. and the fact he's gone from a dog <laughs> to a cat just is, yeah, that's wild to me. Yeah. It's like a Pokemon, you know, evolution. It's like Evie getting that stone and he can pick whatever dog he wants to turn into. Yeah, I don't oh. know what that is, but 100%. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Oh, we're doing Pokemon references now. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> we're thinking number three. He'll be number three. I mean, Brendan... Um, Ollie knows, look at his eyes. Yeah, what number is he going to be? It's not not three. <laughs> They are exclusive. That's what we do here on this show. We just drop <laughs> exclusive news and people, we are so underrated as newsbreakers. Yeah. Like we just, the amount of just seeds we throw out there for people to be like, oh, you know, you can go and harvest this seed if you want. Might be something in there. Nine times out of 10, there's something in the seed. We just, yeah, exactly right. We very much uh, play under the theory of like, if we just water these plants, yeah. one of them's going to blossom. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. You know? It's called diversification. Like mm. Yeah. So when I'm Bailey, getting paid a shit ton of cash to be there. Let's go, Bailey. Let's get around him this year. Let's go, Bailey. Come on, Bailey. Let's go. Get That's another boxing video to do. What'd you say? <laughs> Get another boxing video. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, more boxing videos. Yeah. He should. But um, can't find the footy. We forget how he could find the footy back in the day. Oh. Was having games like thirty-five and a goal before he did his knee. Mate, he's a star. Canton it over. <laughs> as well. You go. Sorry. Canton it over as well. Yeah. His last you... two of his last three seasons was like top ten for turnovers. Yeah, okay. Well, we yeah. forget about that. That's new. That's <laughs> yeah. old news. That's pre. That's not that's, the highlights. That's pre knee as well. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Post knee, he'll be next level. He's worked on his accuracy. Mm. But remember that goal? It was like outside, it was like outside 50 on the left, turns mm. to the crowd, ice in my veins. Like, that's one of the best goals I've ever seen. I love that yeah. goal. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. That's to, all I think of when I think of Bailey Smith. Yeah, yet to watch the vlog. Because yeah. if that was one of your favorite goals, <laughs> Ollie might be doing it again. Just we see. might go down there next year and just cheer him from Chin Chin. I would love to do that. We will. We'll get a chin chin. And we didn't speak about it enough, I don't think, that 
That stadium oh, it was very impressive. Alphabet Stadium. Alphabet good? Stadium. Oh, mate. The shop, the club shop. I incredible. was blown away because <laughs> I wasn't expecting much. I was expecting maybe like the old turnstiles. Yep. You know, I was yep. I was expecting, you know, just human feces given it's in Geelong yep. around the stadium. Totally. A bit of an odour to it. Right. Mm-hmm. Blown away with how cool it is. A great stadium to go to. Is that good? The, the they shop. They there, don't they? Huh? They have oysters there, don't they? Yeah, we didn't find any though. But we um the, the actual shop, the Geelong merchandise shop, you can go get merchandise. Yep. Is the best I've ever seen. Double story. Two story coaches merchandise shop. <laughs> no, nah, no coaches badges. None there. But so we're done to um Bally, he'll have a great year. Well, yeah, explode next year. We're, we're things are big things, oh, number three. So. Yep. But Jack McRae now saying, you happy? Mm, oh mate. That's big. That's a big I'm pumped. Get. That's a, a big get. get. Saints give up uh, pick 45 for him. Three-year deal still. Yeah. So he must have signed a huge deal with the Doggies to then get to the yeah, Saints. Yeah, I, th- I think that's exactly the case. And that was the issue to get him over. Yeah. Who's going to pay it? And as we know, jingle jangle, jingle not jangle. a problem. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm so happy about this one. Um, it's always great to you know get a big-name player, but he's a really consistent, really, really good guy. And I think that right now where St Kilda are at, we just need that a player of literally of consistency mm, rather yeah. than a – Rather than a risk, rather than a, you know, like let's just say for, you know, with Bailey, it's like, well, <coughs> maybe, maybe not. Who knows what it'll be like post yep, knee. Yep. We know his potential, but who knows. Whereas Jack McRae, I'm like, I know what we're getting from him. You're going to get yeah. a minimum 25 again. Yeah. He's gonna and get, that's get just the footy footy. really comforting yeah. Yeah. for me. You're getting a 20, 25. He's going to give it some yep. outside users, be consistent with his ball use. Like that's what you want as a Saint fan. Just yep. some consistency given like you are the least successful club in the history of the AFL. To at least get some kind of consistency will be good. Foundations for next year. We've got more flags than some teams. <laughs> Like, I think you definitely needed some midfield help, though. Like, yeah, and without without being rude, I think they were probably the worst midfield. You can be rude last year. You can be rude. No, I'm I'm, I'm team because all they are a boring as like if we're gonna be completely honest. They, they as a team, mm-hmm. so extremely boring. Yeah, wasn't it boring when um, Jack Higgins uh, kicked that goal against Carlton? You know, in the final few seconds. You they know what? Oh yeah, true. Dreadfully boring. And when you guys finished outside the eight as well, that was good. Saints had well, they had a flair about him in the last five weeks. So I liked them. Yeah, they were boring as shit to start. Thank though. you. They were yeah. very boring at well, the start. I'm Switzerland. I'm on both sides. They mm. were very boring at the start. Um, also, Tim Memory. Yeah, Dolly Collingwood. Yeah, that's good get for oh, nothing. That's, yeah, that's great. Getting that's them, get. getting him from zero. You know, yeah. guys don't rate him. No, I, I think we do. I think we big time. So you lost him. So I don't know what has happened there. Mm. It's. Not only is he going to look iconic in the stripes, yeah, he's, but he got, he's got the, the tats, tats too. Yeah. He's got the tats. tats. tats but that is exactly what Collingwood needed. Yep. Now, when if you we go back to that episode last week, yeah. where you were hot on him for the premiership. I was like, yeah. But now I'm like, yeah. It's yeah. another avenue to go. And yep. He's going to get you two or three. You know, Easily. he's going to kick thirty to forty. Yeah. Yep. He's consistently kicks thirty to forty goals a year yep. in that system. Flies in a system. He can play system a bit higher. Like. He is the perfect fit for Collingwood, yep. who are literally making the biggest tilt at another premiership. Yep. They are all in They're here. All in, yeah. All in. Houston, what they've done this Perryman. offseason is so, so big. Mm. It's going to suck watching him because they're going to be really, really good. No, it's Again. good watching them when they're good. I, I love it. Like, I know everyone hates them, but they were that exciting like two years ago in that premiership window. Remember nah. we sat there watching them and they walked out and you're like, I can't hate them. Like, I do, but Well, I when can't. they walk out smiling, it's, yeah, yeah you it's can't stop that. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. But that means, so if Tim mm. Membry leaves, then the young guys have to step up, which then means, let's hope Max King's been squatting and getting the muscles on his body yeah. because that back will be so heavy this yeah, year. Yeah, it's, it's on Kingy now. Like, long-term deal, mm. it's, it's we're all in on him, I guess. So, mm. yeah. Who are the other options in your forward line? You've got King, Higgins. <sighs> well, other than Tall. Kick out the fall. Hey. Down the fall. Butler, um, just stream over stoppage out in the fall. Set up <laughs> defense. Uh, Mason Wood is is a fair oh, target yeah, yeah. from time to time. Mitch Owens as well. Oh yeah, um, Cheeto. But yeah, now it's very much just King is the target. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. But I think that sort of hurt you last year because you're so like King focused, and then when he went down, like you lower the eyes, look like look at, uh, elsewhere. Oh, oh Higgins ha- is on our team. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, oh shit. He start playing for us. Yeah. <laughs> some of the mids going, oh, we got some Caminiti? <laughs> team debuting or what? Yeah. So I'll write that for you guys. Also, <coughs> a little seed I can drop here. I think Adam Tomlinson might be going to the pies. Oh, oh really? What, okay, yeah. wrap it up if that's the case. I yeah. generally think he's going there. So they're building super team. A source told me that Tomo to the pies. Yeah, that's big. That is massive. It's like Moneyball. At yeah. the moment. Mm. And they're, all, they're not paying these guys big like nah. Membry and, and Tomo wouldn't be getting big dollars. Just nah. yeah, getting people that can get on get on first base. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. 
Um, Matt Candy, went, oh, I hate this so much. Matt Candy found himself at the Dogs. Best clubman for the Blues last year, top 10 finish the BNF, was told, look, we don't really need you, so just please have a look around by the Blues. Had a look around, lands at Footscray, and they give back pick 38 to the Blues. Good get, Matt Kennedy. Mm. I love he, him. He's a star. He's a star. He's a good underrated hard worker, just an honest hard worker. Not a stud, mm -hmm. not stinky, is just in the runner? middle. Or is he just an accumulator and like, you know, hard at it? Just hard at it. Because maybe that was what it is. They have a bit of a log jam with their like inside mids. There. Yeah, just hard at it. But he'll be good at the dogs. He will be good. Um, North Melbourne, Destination Club now. <laughs> Didn't they become a Destination Club? At their best and fairest, Clarko said, we're going to bring in, or we're not going to bring in older heads because we want to give the young kids some experience. You know, let's blood this youth. Let's get some games into him. And then goes out and recruits a bunch of 30-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> and some headgears. Yeah. Anyway, if I'm like a Will you're, Phillips, I'm going, oh, what the fuck, mate? You're like, <laughs> three weeks ago. You, what is this bullshit? You got on stage in front of everyone and said, but I'm going to give you a game. And then you bring in Jack Darling, <laughs> Parker. And then this is the one I love, two helmets. <laughs> yeah. I love two helmets. Caleb Daniel is now a shin boner. So 50,000 members, one just throbbing shin boner <laughs> and two helmets. <laughs> Did you, did you That's see Sherry's great. comment on Instagram? What did he say? He, it just to, when, you know, it was like, we welcome Caleb Daniel. And he went... I like the look of this guy. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's great. Insane. All right, that. Yeah, that's great. They're going to be making some moves, I think, north up the ladder. Well, I mean, what they're doing, I like the, the experience heads in. I like them a lot. 14th, do you think? I think with everything they bought in, probably looking at 16th at least. Parker's going to give him some good leadership too. Like he's going to help that, that midfield out. He'll play forward as well. We'll kick a few. He'll be a good leader. Darling will be a good leader. Yep. Like, well, boys, I can't do that anymore. But what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. is if you do these things, <laughs> yeah. you'll be able to get the ball and kick some goals there. Yep. But if I'm Clarko, the biggest power move here, I'm making everyone round one next year playing helmets. Yes. <laughs> Could you imagine? That's the dream. Round one next year, 23 helmets in North Melbourne, Guernseys. Yep. Just the energy that that playing group would get, the ability to, you know, you'd want to run through a brick wall mm. and you've got a helmet on so you can. And 23 helmets set in the tone for next year. You're looking at round one with 23 helmets on, at least a 61 point loss. <laughs> well, it works. <laughs> Which in isn't the NFL. that bad. It's not that bad at all. No. I would love, I've always thought, I'd love for every player just before a game to shave their heads. Could you imagine that they all cut. come out? Every single one of them with a shaved head. Well, do you remember when Doc, um, everyone shaved their head for Doc? True. And the blues. Yeah. And then True. literally the thing could have been like, if they keep up True. this buzz cut because they all shaved their heads, round one against the Tigers, they're all going to have shaved heads. <laughs> that would have been unbelievable. It would have been so good. good. That would have been faster too, aerodynamics. Would have been. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what we've got to get to. Start playing mind games with everyone. So it's either helmets or no hair. I think you say if Clarko says, you know when Clarko rolled in Canberra and didn't wear a shirt? Yeah. It was like all in, <laughs> or all out mentality. I reckon he should say day, day one, pre-season, boys, yeah. and he wears a helmet as he's saying this. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I've heard some rogue stories about his uh, team speeches and I Man. reckon he's ex exactly so, the kind of, sort he of went, guy. He went, another seat here, fuck, we are just leaking so much shit here. We're going to get so sued. But he <laughs> went on a huge, like, this officer just gone two weeks ago, yeah. Yeah. met with, like, all the people who are up for, for a trade. This yep. year, like any Parker, Daniel, obviously all these people, like Houston, all the players. And with, he'd get their message, their, their number back, and he would message them and keep them up to date with what, not even about trade and come to the club, about what he was doing. So he's in Paris <laughs> messaging <know> players, <laughs> taking photos in front of the Eiffel Paris, being like, the hey, Eiffel mate. Paris? <laughs> yeah. Hey, mate. Literally, you know how old parents like old people take photos? Their head's like that close to the screen. Yeah. He's like behind the Eiffel Towers with him, be like, hey, mate. Great morning for a run here in Paris, Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. One of what, one of my favourite rumours I heard about him was um, there was a, a period at Hawthorne where it was very much a changing of the guard with the players. Mm. So he comes into a team meeting dressed as a Queen's guard, like with the <laughs> helmet. <laughs> Does the full thing and he went, it's the changing of the guard, boys. <laughs> Who is gonna step up in a full? If that's if that's one hundred percent true, then that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Oh, I and love then you sat there and didn't talk the whole training session. Yeah, you just like sat in full character. That's great, like Larko. He'd fit in perfectly here. We should get him on. Oh, yeah, we will. I'll message. Yeah, him. we what? You're gonna message him? Hey, there's well, only one text here. Yeah. What are you gonna say? I'll be in the requests. What are you gonna say? So one of them, their women's team as well, North Melbourne, are flying at the moment. Their percentage, I just checked. 335 percent <laughs> they've scored 537 points and only allowed 160 points they could generally beat the helmets the men's team yeah 
No, they, they, they are, they they are, are humming. Incredible. Yep. They are humming. Lock them in for a premiership already. Like, they're just going to win it. No one's getting near them with what they're doing at the moment. No, it's taken them maybe like from what I have been able to gather, it felt like maybe four years for them to enter the the elite because in the AFLW it really has been two sides, mm. you know, the whole time really. Mm. But Brisbane, clearly the Adelaide Crows, they've been unbelievable. At the start, Carlton were pretty good too. And it just took them a little while to chase mm. the pack and now they're there and they're not going anywhere. They're, they're an absolute powerhouse. You know what Clarko should do? A <laughs> whole go. club approach. If women's team all in helmets. <laughs> And I think there's something in that. Do you reckon staff as well? Like just yes, media, everybody team. in finance and marketing Physi- has to wear yeah. a helmet. <laughs> the CFOs there in meetings, yeah. red Mate, head reception. Imagine that one. Some player goes down because all helmets are in the field. One player goes down, and then the trainer and the doctor sprint out with helmets <laughs> on as well. <laughs> and then the stretcher. If someone's going to stretch it off, I hope it doesn't happen. But then the stretcher, the driver, is like, "Hey, you're going to take that guy off. I don't even work for the club, but yeah, but you need to put the helmet on." And he <laughs> drives out with the helmet as well. No one's going to stretch it off. They got the protection. They're good to go. That's another thing. Yeah, holding up the. It's all about player safety. Holding up the green or the red sign. <laughs> yeah, it's a with helmet. a red with a helmet. It's just a helmet. It's just a helmet. Helmets. It's just a helmet sign. I love that. They should lean the helmets. Yeah, they really shin should. helmets and big they will. boners, big helmets. Also go hand in hand, a boner and a helmet. If the, the appendix. Moving on. Appendix. I don't know, mate. Phalanges, <laughs> their fingers. <laughs> um, but on the AFLW still, a lot of talk about um their season. Has it been successful? Has it been given the best opportunity to grow this year? Mm-hmm. Not really. A lot of people chatting, saying, even the players themselves saying, look, we haven't had the best chance to actually show what we can do and showcase, you know, the best of what this league has to offer because we all want it to succeed. It's now in a place where I think generally we want to see it do well. Yeah, of course. But it, the way that they've set up this year, it has been a really, at times, difficult product to watch because mm-hmm. they expanded so quickly to 18 teams where you have teams who literally – don't have the talent pull there yet to score big scores. So you have teams who are kicking no goals, yep. one goal. You have the fixturing issue, which has been a nightmare. You have the games at 5 p.m. on a Thursday to get crowds there. All in all, this year has made it difficult to succeed the AFLW. Mm. I think they're trending the right direction. There are some games we go, this is amazing. The skills are definitely better. But the AFL and the AFLW are now going to work on a way next year to try and make this thing a better product to watch and consume in all aspects. Mm. It just has to. I've found, I've found myself invested in watching football, but I've also found myself saying at times this is really just difficult to watch because they're on the back of five-day turnarounds. There's games on at 5 p.m. Yeah, a lot of pressure. There are 18 teams, so the bad teams are really, really bad, and the good established teams like North are really, really good. So you have 60 to three points, which mm-hmm. makes it difficult. Okay. So I think they're going to have a big off-season trying to make this league better and succeed. Well, first and foremost, I think we need people to go more often so that there's more money going into the club. But it's hard to go when they schedule 5 p.m. Thursdays. Yeah, but if you look at it like... If we, they had 5 p.m. like Wednesday games. Okay, but this weekend, normal times. What do we got this weekend? A normal fixture? Um, okay, so going into week nine, we've got a Thursday night, 7.45. Where at? Uh, that's Hawthorne. How do you say this? Kazali's? Kazalis, it's in um, Canberra. It's in Queensland, yeah. No, it's Queensland, Cairns. Cairns. Yeah. So okay. there you go. That, that's up there. So that's that's good. Um, hang on, let me go back to it. Um, we got Friday night seven forty five, Saturday two o five, Saturday four o five, Saturday six o five, Saturday eight fifteen, Sunday one o five, Sunday three o five, Sunday five o five. See, that's better. They're so giving that's a better. There. Yeah, that's, that's better. But that's it's been like that all year. It's well, just, it hasn't because no, it's been games on Thursday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Wednesday night, of Thursday course, night. they've had them, but yeah. those games on the weekend have still been there. I think Goz was putting his attention towards those games. Like, it's it's impossible to get a fan base at those crowds. I'm not knocking the league. Like, if everyone yeah. takes this as a, me offending the league, I'm not at all. I'm mm. saying we all want to succeed, but when they put games on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 5 yeah. o'clock or 7 up, o'clock, it's an absolute stitch up. When you have teams who are kicking three points a game, yeah. as a viewer, well, it is really hard to watch. Yeah, well, that it just feels like you're saying two different things there. But when it comes to the scheduling, yeah, absolutely. When there's a game on in Frankston on a Monday night, you know, it's not even school holidays. Mm. It's ridiculous. It's, I mean, that's just crazy mm. now. Like, what, what, you know, 
That is so hard to, mm. for everyone to get to. But well, my argument was as a whole, as a whole, like that, those issues mm. all are hand in hand, okay. which make it really difficult to try and invest if you want to try and invest yourself in it. But we are going to get um, Poppy Bolts and Jade Ellinger on a program. Well, I hope they haven't listened to in this. In two though. weeks. <laughs> no, I think they came for discussion. The, the beauty of the sport, it's, it's still in its infancy stages. Like it's growing, that FLW. And like, you know, you can compare it to the WNBA or the EPL women's. <laughs> Like those those leagues are flying now, and they're mm. getting they're only getting better and better because the talent pool is increasing. Yeah, they're like they're getting more exposure growing up to it. So in like give it like five ten years, it's going to be a thriving market, and mm. we just we just really need to like put the support behind it and stick to it, mm. and it's it's going to be one of the premier ones. Mm -hmm. it'll, mm. ha it'll have to be. It'll have, have to no get choice. better. It's already but as a like if, when things are up and running, the skills are so much better. Oh, absolutely. They're way more. They're spending some, more time. Stars out there. There's more money behind it. Yeah, there's there's some good players in the league that mm. can use the ball really well, and in general, they're using it really well so um but when we get those two in we'll talk about them about this year and how it's been you know, yeah. schedules and all that it'd be good to see like from them what they absolutely. say absolutely we'll do that um we spoke about players moving around the league the hawks they i checked the odds for next season's premiership to Ooh, win it what are we on sports bet yeah. they have flown up to favorite to win the flag next year favorite they are favorites to win the flag no nah, second favorite brizzy are favorites they're equal sure. oh that's I'm Both a eight fan. bucks. I'm nervous about that. I don't reckon that. That is what? so brass. So they bring in brass and then they skyrocket back up. And we know he loves his sister. <clears throat> so that was always that was great that he is now in Melbourne, close to his sister. But they gave up a future first, second, and third. Yeah. To get him across, and now they're again like the pies. Let's go all in and try and win a flag. But to be fair, they're, they're quite young as well. So their version of all in is still you've got six, seven, eight years. They're all in for the next 10 years. Yeah. I think what it was, the, the issue last year was Frost went down and we had no one to stop the key forward. Mm. Now we've got the depth there with... Um, are, you, are you a Hawthorne fan? I'm a Hawthorne man. Ah. Yeah, I kept, I kept under wraps. I thought you were a Suns oh, fan. Oh, God's going to have a go. Here, sorry, go hold on. No, sorry. He was, a, he was a Carlton fan for about a season and a half there and then they started going badly and Hawks came back up. So he's like every other Hawthorne fan. Did just I, came out of nowhere. Okay, years ago did I buy a Sam Mitchell You're a fraud, badge? mate. <laughs> you're in a, you did you bought a coach's badge, you but you this, you're an absolute fraud. You're a fake fan. Do you ever pick a second and most team of the when Hawks fans? Shit? Oh yeah, but I wouldn't say we when referring to them. <laughs> Didn't mm. say we, mate. Mate, yes, mm. mates for Sam Doherty. I'm you're a, a fake I'm Hawthorne fan. Him. Oh, if your mates play for an AFL team, are you going to support them ever? Mm -hmm. Is that is that not what I did? Who do you go for right now? Hawthorne. Let me see. All right, so Hawks all in package. Just wrapping this thing up. Package is now a giant. Mm. I rate that move. I love Jake Stringer at the Giants. the Giants. I think it looks good. Him next to Hogan and Green, you mm -hmm. would strictly keep him on one-year deals, maybe six-month deals. <laughs> yeah, you got yeah. Go the quarterly contract. I think with contract string, you'd say, like, we'll, we'll yep, come to the Giants, that's great, but month-to-month -month contracts. Yeah. Mm. Every four weeks we'll review how you're going, and that would just keep him, at like, top-lining, red-lining yeah. to be a really good Keeps player. Keep him accountable. D accountable. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's all you want from him. So I like him going there. I think that's... A really good move for them. Yeah, it's exciting times. A really good yeah. move. Um, Dan Houston, obviously we spoke about him getting to Collingwood. He gave his insight and his decision to leave Port and then not pick Melbourne as his preferred club. Probably said a little bit too much. Uh, I'll play it. Uh, yeah, so during the, during the middle of the year, um, you know, I had an open and honest conversation with, with Kenny and I basically said, mate, I'm thinking about um, going home at the end of the year and... Um, and basically, he, he said, yeah, um, you know, if that's what you want to do, then we'll support you. But, you know, in, in an ideal world, we want you to stay. At, um, I told my manager straight away, and then he, he said, mate, I reckon Melbourne are, are keen and you can get home and we can keep it super quiet. And then, um, yeah, I guess throughout the year, there was a, a bit of, um, I don't know how to put it, there was a bit, little bit of unrest at Melbourne, it seemed. Mm. Um, I, I flicked, let my manager know that, you know, that probably wasn't the best thing for me to do. I'd probably... Mm. rather not go there and then it sort of opened everything right up and it sort of came out a little bit um and then that's when it sort of um you know opened the door for for everyone else and i don't know how to put it but um melbourne were a shit show <laughs> <laughs> um oh how do i say this nicely that club was burning to the ground <laughs> so i thought mm, better not go there and ruin my career hey, just melbourne, now fuck off we'll cover <laughs> your yeah, in the nicest way possible i didn't want to go there so didn't need to go into that much detail Again, like we've yeah. seen this year, said the quiet part out loud. Mm, mm. So I, I like the honesty. Yeah, just a lot. <laughs> it just was a, a bit. Lot. I'll tell you what. If you're a Melbourne fan right now, you'd just be feeling so frustrated. Like because he'd been a good get too. Oh, it would have been a great get. You can't blame him. So no. I've got it all down here. So track went rogue and leaked that he wasn't happy with the club. 
Details came out with that. Clary stuff happened six months ago. We didn't know if he'll get back to his being Clary. Mm. So we don't really know. Joel Smith gets thrown out the league for testing positive for failing drug tests, then accused of trafficking. This is Melbourne's history. So no wonder he didn't go there. Gorney broke a leg from carrying the club and having to do media appearances all year. Yep. The club then tried to do an interview on SEN to tell people they don't have a culture problem. Goody then also had to say in that interview he doesn't have his own off-field issues. Their president does another interview. Horrible doing interviews, this club. Does another interview and said that she hasn't spoken to track or family, but they're in a pretty good place. They weren't at all. She steps down. Brad Green, their now president, is just got the busiest <laughs> fingers in the <laughs> land on Twitter. He's across everything and takes the bait <laughs> On every tweet. <laughs> Just so active on Twitter. Didn't need to like, obviously Dan Houston go into that much detail about why, but that's some reasons why. The year yep. before that or two years before that, we got fights at, at restaurants. Yep. So if True. I'm Dan Houston, I'm going, okay, maybe I don't need to go to this football club. <laughs> Just, just a little bit, but um, now they have a club also going into an audit about what's going on. <laughs> We're just about to find out what that's about. I think their PR team needs to have a good hard look at themselves. What PR team? Or, or they, maybe they need to get a PR <laughs> yeah, team. Get one. Yeah. yeah, Also forget they get more seagulls to games than actual attendance oh, that, during winter. That Melbourne Port Adelaide game. I was was just, grim. Oh. So no shitty would want to go there. Mm. I just wanted to say like why you need to go to the north. I'd be really honest. Like imagine what we would say about that. Well, he wasn't old enough and he didn't have that uh, gear. They made me want to wear this fucking helmet. And I said, no. <laughs> Clarko just kept FaceTiming me yeah. yeah, under the Champs-Élysées. Clarko sent me a photo in front of the Eiffel Tower with a helmet and said, could be yours next year. Too good rosé in Paris. <laughs> Check this out. So, but what under him, I think is going to be good for them next year. Another piece I add, but already fitting into the Collingwood mould of being a Collingwood player. Making some enemies. Mm. I love that. <laughs> That's true. Ruffling yeah. some real feathers there in Melbourne already. Um, and out of the whole trade period, Richmond just came out <clears> looking <throat> unbelievable. Their draft hand is wild. So lost Dusty, Drake Graham, Bolton and Baker and then get picks 1, 6, 10, 11, 18, 20, 23, 24. So you the whole draft. This is their in class. In five years, that's scary. That's real scary. The next three years are going to be stinky, yuck as, just yep. absolute ass. And then four to five years, premiership window, Opens back up. Yeah. We're from Tigerland. The That's, absolute bandwagon, the train rolls back in the MCG. Yeah. That's pending that they hit on this class. They'll hit, mate. Well, you mate, You can't ha- not hit with that. Mathematically, you have to hit yeah. one. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. What's that? Nine. But you've seen the Gold Coast Suns in history, and I don't want to put them down. What? But- They've, they've, they've had, you know, Daniel Gorringe pick 10. Okay, he, that he didn't bird, necessarily yeah. work out, did oh, he? That sounded personal from the first word when you started that <laughs> sentence. Yeah. Okay, well, that, okay. Down. well, let's say pick 10 doesn't hit. History says it doesn't <laughs> yeah, it, hit it, it normally. Yeah. 1, 6, 11, 18, 20, 23, 24. That's, uh, that's your foundation for five years. Yeah. I rate that. They're going to be they're going to be a problem yeah, they're gonna be good. in four to five years. And they yeah. got it all before Tassie comes in too. So they're going to mm-hmm. have like a mm-hmm. whole lot of talent coming yeah. in before everyone else steals it. And, um, yeah, Tassie going to steal some big talent, which would be big. I asked um, after all, all of the trade period stuff, I asked chat GPT. Yeah. Or AI to predict the top eight. Oh, next here year. we go. Ooh, Richmond are in it. Collingwood, Lions, Melbourne, Carlton, Port, Sydney, Geelong, Adelaide. <laughs> Wait, did you not say Hawthorne? No, nope, no Hawthorne. AI said no Hawthorne. So we got Collingwood finishing first, Lions runner up, Melbourne third, Carlton top four, Port, Sydney, Geelong, Adelaide. I mean, it's just incorrect. It's not. No, you know, I think Adelaide it sounds pretty real, up. yeah. You just need um, to flip Melbourne with Hawthorne or something, I think. Hey, I can't make it. That's that's the system spinning it out for me. They've never lied. And then the biggest bombshell of the week that the AFL released a statement on after everything that happened with the Giants kind of in before this statement and people trying to piece it all together and then people saying, what is the AFL doing? They haven't said anything, but they had these suspensions down. We then found out what actually went down in fair mad monday so this is a statement at the function several players dressed up in costumes with form skits around the theme of the event which was controversial couples terrible idea the function was held on september 18 the league received an anonymous complaint on september 19 which we now know was not the bartender working the day but a bartender working the next day who had heard something from the bartender of the day went back to watch the cct vision and then said something to someone else yep then the league confirmed the following matters constitute breaches of afl rule 2.3a josh fair is that v Fahey. Fahey. Dressed up as former NRL player and Jake Riccardi as a taxi driver in the course of the skit. Fahey simulated inappropriate acts on a sex style. Riccardi was not involved in part of the skit. Toby McCullen and Cooper Hamilton simulated the September 11 terrorist attack on the World Trade Center in costumes related to the event. Harvey Thomas dressed up as a particular professional sportsman and Joe Fonte as a girl acting inappropriately during the skit. Connor Iden and Lockie Whitfield enacted a scene from the movie Django Unchained characterizing slavery. 
AFL then handed down suspensions and did not miss them at all. Faye got four match suspension. Riccardi, Fonte, McMullen, Harvey Thomas and Cooper Hamilton all banned for two games. Cooper Hamilton then becomes the first player in history to be delisted and then suspended. Giants captain Toby Green, Sam Taylor, Toby Green, Lockie Keefe, Harry Perriman, Conor Iden and Lockie Whitfield fined five grand for not showing leadership. Mm-hmm. Just horrific judgment mm. on all parts. And as we said in our last ep, how do you not register that maybe, just maybe, this wouldn't be a good idea? Mm. Like, surely after going through a, a domestic violence and sexual assault against women workshop earlier that year, mm. surely someone registers and says, hey, thinking this might not be a good idea. Mm. For all the reasons we've heard, we've been spoken to, this is not good, and then still continue to go about it. And not one person during the skits, after the first one, where maybe you don't know what's coming, you go, fellas, if this is going this way, I'm thinking we just don't do it. Mm-hmm. Just horrible, horrible judgment the whole way through. Yeah. Horrible. Uh, yeah. And I, look, I wish so much that we also had the context of this before our podcast last week because we sort of just didn't know what mm. the vibe was. It's pretty outrageous behaviour. It's it's really disgraceful and I'm super disappointed in them. And they're going to have some really hard conversations with the AFLW team. Yeah. And I fucking love it. Mm. Get, you get in there and you look them in the eye because it's a piss take and I'm not having it. It's mm. shit behaviour. And speaking of shit behaviour, we need to talk about the comment section, Dan. Mm. I'm so disappointed. Mm. You cannot speak like that to some people. It is heartbreaking to see. Some in the comments back to like people on this was like, whoa, you can't do that. Especially when domestic violence is such a big issue in Australia at the moment and it's so prevalent and like so front of mind. Like to just have like the disrespect and, you know, address it in that way. It's, yeah, you're right. It's not I think the thing is out of this, like we we assume that everyone knows wrong from right, but other people clearly don't know what is wrong and what is right. Mm-hmm. And if you question that, if the stance people are taking of like, you know, this is boys will be boys and this is boys club is like you have got to be kidding. And then you're commenting on public forums with your opinions that are so clearly wrong then you're a fucking moron Yep. It's if you don't know wrong from right, which I assume most listeners and the YouTube watchers here would know wrong from right. But unfortunately, as I said back to the start, clearly we now that know that people don't know what is right and what is wrong. No, and what they don't know as well is not only is it disrespectful and out of line, it's fucking dangerous. Mm. We're talking about mm. people's safety here and we always talk about with our community in particular how it's, open for everyone and of course it is. Yep. But there is just no room anymore. There never has been but there's no room to make people feel unsafe like that. Because mm. even though they think it's funny, they're like, ha-ha. It's like it's not only not funny, it's dangerous. Yep. And it creates a really terrible culture where people are worried about their safety. They're worried about their kids. They're wo- it, I, I'm just – I'm not having it. I put on my story how disappointed I was and mm. I just – Keep that shit away from us because mm. we don't want that. Yep. We, no. yeah, I hated no. it. So I hope that has settled things for everyone who was in the comment section saying, you need to speak up, you need to speak up. That's where I stand. Mm. And we hope that everyone from this experience and that there's going to be multiple times this happens again, unfortunately. That's the reality of where we're at as a country and this whole situation. It's going to happen again. So let's hope that from this we all learn and slowly learn, which is wild, we have to learn, that this is just not on mm. to do. And make it feel that way. Slowly learn. Let's fucking catch mm. up quick, smart, yeah. mate. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. just as I said, horrific judgment from from all all involved in that. And they'll cop their whack. They'll cop their talking to from again. I'm sure they will people in the club to talk about domestic violence again. The AFLW will probably look them in the eyes the first day one back at preseason. So park it. Yeah. Let's learn. Let's all be better. And then just let's yeah. You yeah, just hope that the there. AFL are going to – obviously they will step in <clears throat> but give them all more training, especially what in it this is. regard. And it, it's going to bring more awareness to the situation mm. moving I forward. I just don't so. even know how you train that sort of stuff because it's fucking as obvious as all get out that you You'd don't You'd think it's common it. sense, wouldn't you? Yeah, like, as, you, yeah we, we assume it's common sense and that's that's why it's ridiculous for us to hear that and or see these, these sort of things arise. Mm. So – yeah, um, moving on in something that's, you know, we hope they do get right now here, St Kilda. 
New crest. Yeah. Unveiling a new crest. Now, I don't know what this crest is going to be like. They said they're unveiling a new chapter. They said, our crest legacy is stronger than ever, but it's time for... No, actually, hold on. Lie straight away in that statement. <laughs> our crest legacy is stronger than ever. Is it? But it's time for the next generation to carry the torch. 19th, 11th, 24th, we get to see this new crest. A turning the page. Time for some fresh luck. If history is to go by, though, from the Saints, we'll sit back and watch them fuck this up. <laughs> They've never not missed when it comes to merch or rebranding. Actually, you're right. Their merch is very cool. The emblem has been cool for a long time yeah. as well. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's get around them. What else? Same colours, I assume? <laughs> yeah, yeah. not a total rebrand. So I'm not going full rebrand. It's no, just no, a, no, The no. crest it's itself just, is yeah, changing. Is there a, a trident involved? Is, just a is just, yeah, we're still, surfing on a cloud? I think it's going to be a slimmer triangle with stick man in the middle. <laughs> a stick man doing a uh, ice in the fanes. Yeah. So oh, that would be hard Is the ribbon under it? Is there ribbon? Stick man Stick doing man this. Stick man with the ice in the veins. And, and he's holding a trident and he's surfing on a cloud with thunder under it. Yeah. Yes. If that Smoking happens. a vape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's yeah. The cloud. the cloud is the vape. Sick man's doing a vape. <laughs> Drinking a beer. Oh. Yeah, right. If that's it, I'm in. If Sick man's in it, I will become a member. Yeah, that's really? going to be my new team. And if he's, if, he's, if he's having a vape in it, <laughs> then they're my team. Yeah. So let's see. Um, Chris Fagan, you hear this story as well. Chris Fagan, nicest man in the world, officially. Yeah. First, he obviously took his premiership cup to his local cafe, to his barista. I said, love hey, that. thank I you so that. much for everything. Fill this thing up with some latte. And they filled up the whole cup with a latte and he drove around like that. Then the news broke that Chris Fagan gave away his premiership medal to Big O. Now, Big O on the day, remember him jumping around, carrying on. We did say that something like that was going to happen. We did. We, we predicted did. it. Yeah. So he did. He didn't want to do it in front of the media. Uh, so in their last team meeting, he gave it to Big O, who was literally the most, probably the most enthusiastic person on the field after them on the final. Yeah, he yep, was. Easily. He, he handled Just it very up well. Just up and a bad shoulder as well, so he couldn't really hug the boys. Yeah. In pain. Um, and so unselfish by fags. So he gets two medals for winning the premiership. He gets the Jock Mahal oh, yeah. medal. Yep. And then gets his premiership medal as well. So could have been selfish. Great man. Could have said, hey, Big O, I'm 63. You know, an opportunity for me to win another one might not come around. You're young. You might, you might win next year. You might win five years after. Maybe I'm not coaching the boys. But then gives it to Big O and apparently another seed, seeds everywhere. Apparently when he gave it to him, he said, you can borrow this until I get it next year. Going back That's, to back. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Right that. Good on him. So nice. Time to start Good giving man. players who have contributed to the season mm. medals, I reckon. Yep. Yeah. It only makes sense. Like we have to start NFL, doing that. In the NBA. Yep. I'm going to say, if you play eight games in a season, you get a medal. I love it. That's a third of the year. Yep. What if you play eight games in your career? Like, and yeah, <laughs> you probably yeah. Then I'll be in chance for well, that's never going to happen though. I reckon if you play eight games in a season. Yep. You get to be given a medal. Yep. And setting the precedence is uh, Chris Fagan. They're a great family. His brother, by the way, has just returned to coaching uh, at Clarence in Tassie in mm. the TSL. So um, back in action there, which is good to see. Yeah. So just taking over the place. The right Fagans. That. Right there, yeah, well, I'm Tazzy strong, Tazzy strong. Um, Travis Burke also going around for another season. That's season 19. Yep, that's huge. The old shit. <laughs> he's still going around again. Had a bit of a stinky prelim. But he'll be all right. 371 games. Yes. The record, all-time record is 392. He's sneakily doing a Scott Pendlebury, just one year behind. He is, mm. yeah. Doesn't no get the raps from it. it. Yeah, in Port. 392 Port record. Yeah, by Port, um, yeah. Ebert, Russell Ebert. Uh, he's Russ, on 371, yeah. so he's played every game this year. Which is, do we think? <laughs> Historically, we know what happens with this kind of move. The player who's been there the longest and keeps playing falls out of form during the year and then that team goes on to play in a premiership and they have to make a hard call. Mm. Yeah. I think Scott Thompson was one for Adelaide in 17. Yeah. Nathan Jones. Could have been Tomahawk this year. Could have been, would have been Tomahawk. Would have been, yeah. So that's the trend for these type of things. I spoke to him when I was trying to leave uh, Gold Coast to go to Port. Recruited. We got each other's on, uh, on text message. Good, good man. Uh, didn't give you much. It went green <laughs> after a while. You know, it was blue bubbles for a bit. Then it was like going green. It's like, hey, mate, let's see if we can get lunch still. It started going green. It's like, okay, things like blocked me. But okay. You went to the Samsung. Yeah, it did. Um, what else are we going to clear here? Oh, NBA season starts before we wrap up. On Wednesday, we are back in the NBA. Mm. I'm excited. Knicks and I'm Celtics. excited. Celtics, Knicks kick things off. Celtics still favourites to go back to back in the championship. Win yep. another one, which is fair enough. Like, clear favourites too. Yeah, they're mm. that good. Are they that good? Yeah, they, mate, they're defensively unbelievable. Have they added anyone or not? No, they no. Have, they've just kept the same, like Drew Holiday, Tatum, Brown, everyone. Yeah. Um, KP will be healthy again. 
Yeah, right. They're going to smoke the shit out of Knicks week one. I know mm. we – like, I go for the Knicks, but we got Cat involved in that trade. We got the, the Villanova boys. But I think they're going to need some chemistry before they yeah. start kicking off. Sell like a How like is it going to go, boys? Oof. We no good. Are we just going, like – 50, you know, uh, it's 500, is that what we're going to do? I think Bronny's going to get um, Rookie of the Year 100%. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, I'm dead serious about that. <laughs> Put on my feed. He had a good finish to his preseason. Did he? 17 points, 7 to 17, like four rebounds, three steals. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's good. He played against like Big year for too. him too for Bronny because his dad, just as quickly as he got him in the league, could trade him. <laughs> yeah, he has the power. Them, <laughs> if he doesn't start hitting some shots, Bronny could be on the move to like an Atlanta. He'll be, yeah. a, he'll be a fallen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, I don't want to... Imagine that conversation around the table at home. He, he goes for like one of 15. Yeah. And he's been like on that 10-game streak of doing one of 15. Yeah. And then he gets home. He's like, oh, t- tomorrow something's going to happen, son. <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday today, so enjoy. Now, this but is your dad talking out. to you, not your teammates. LeBron um, you're going to be me, traded. He strikes me so much as the sort of guy to um, have his favourites in order, but at the dinner table. So he could literally go, Bronny, you go... You go down a peg, boy. <laughs> Do you reckon they, someone so else got up? AD, Rui, like yeah. all the boys, Bronny's over no, there. No, I mean his it? actual children. Oh, <laughs> Like at the dinner table. Being oh, his like, daughter's his favourite by yeah. far. I've got a two-prong question. The NBA shower block, yeah. would that be an open top of yeah. system, like a footy shower block or not? Yeah. Like with the one one shower in the, in the middle? No, the not like that, man. It's not the 70s, but that'd be, you think an open, like footy? Yep, yep. I've thought I've thought about it, mate. They're, they're so seeing is, each other's penises. Is Bronny sharing with dad? Yep. He'd have to. What? Yeah, I don't think shower. you can. You can't shower with dad. No, nah, you can't shower with dad. You can't. You have to wait for your dad to shower. You can't. You can't just be like, oh, dad. So when, Bron, when Bron's icing his knees, Bronny just. Quickly I think so. I think Bronny would have to. Yeah, you can't be like, oh, dad's in here. But then, but then oh, there's dad's cock. There's a risk to team chemistry not getting along if they're not sharing together. Unless one showers in their jocks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Joey but, showers in his jocks, still at home by himself. Uh, no I do, footy no, clubs. jocks, and then I turn, shut the door, turn to the taps, and cover up. Still <laughs> true. Well that, well, that is bizarre. That's what? another big talking about. Oh, well, <laughs> you sit in the shower. I'm not allowed to wear yeah. jocks and do everything else. So what, you just get them what, wet, and then what is that? Just this, like this ha- is just when I'm playing footy. Oh. You know, you're with the lads. Yeah, you, you play a good game. You you, you want to go oh. in the shower with, with your undies and the door mm. shut and cover Sometimes up. Sometimes right, I didn't play. I'd be in the showers waiting for the boys. Have the hot water on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fellas, still good to go. You just jump in, boys. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we've got to the bottom of that. He's sharing with his dad. I know I wouldn't. That's a, we'll, uh, Just put that on the record. Yeah, so I'm with you. I don't I'm know with dad. No. no, no. Okay, uh, Sportsbet also have some markets for him here, just in his first year, which is great. So you can jump on these. So I like this one. Bronny James has scored 20-plus points in any regular season game, 950. I reckon that's short. I, I wouldn't – yeah, I, I reckon he could do it. He'll get enough minutes. He'll get enough shots, and he can go hot. You know, if Ish Smith can do that or Danny Green can do it, he can do it in the corner. Yeah, that's true. To score 25 points is 23 bucks. To record four plus made threes, eight bucks. Yeah, he's a 3 and D player. Like, that's his purpose. Yeah. What's he him to get hot, traded? Shots. Hey? What's him to get traded? I want some value on that. Is it? Is there Bronny a... James to get traded? No, nah, it's not. It, no. Surely that just would never happen. Never know. It would be hilarious. Never say never. <laughs> hey, that's our week done. Footy's done, so we're going to keep finding some stuff to talk about. We got a month and a bit to go of episodes. We uh, we'll find some stuff. There'll be some stuff there. Bring some seconds back. NFL's on at the moment. What if I miss? Well. I don't have the screen sort of in my direction. Uh, not much happening now. Jets are up against Pittsburgh, Pretty but my fantasy team touchdown. is back. Big time as well, really? boys. Yeah, I'm back. Big time in fantasy. Yeah, we put the uh, McCaffrey McCaffrey issue behind us. Yeah, he's got a bit of a death star going on, but I smoked his horn a couple of weeks ago. He's got, you know what McCaffrey does have? He needs surgery in his Achilles. As mm. someone who has had three Achilles surgeries, his sheath is stuck to his tendon. And I need to tell someone over there because they, they're sending him to Germany, sort it out. So, like, boys, come to Australia, take a look at my legs. I guarantee you, you got well, a, his sheath, which slides up and down, is stuck to the tendon. <laughs> so it's trying to move, right? And then when it's trying to move, it's getting stuck. So it's all moving like that. Mm. All right. How, how did Ricky you Purcell get up. shot? Well, Ricky Purcell yeah. got shot for his Rolex, returned today, all before CMC came back. Well, that we're going to do with McCaffrey is they have to get in there and like <laughs> the knife, you have to like split it and then get it moving again. Yeah. They're not doing and that. And you do, will you do it for them? I would have thought. I could. I know what I'm doing in there. Yeah. Um, everyone, thanks for listening. We'll see you on Wednesday back in. Thanks, Joey, for being here, mate. Thanks, Joey. You're thanks great. We'll be back again. Um, Absolutely. Right. All right. We'll see you all on Thursday. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.